Hi, Jamie here, the Hedge Teacher. Let's look at gold and silver, coins or bullion, and what you should buy. And you know, I've been asked this question many times, so let's take a look at the, the difference and what it means to you as an investor. You know, a common question from novice investors of gold and silver is, what is the difference between a bullion and a numismatic coin? But first, let's address the fundamental difference between bullion and numismatic coins. So the coins. We have gold and silver coins purchased for one of three reasons, either as an investment, inflation hedge, or survival. Most of the time, all three purposes factor into the decision to invest in bullion coins. I mean, are you interested in coins from a historical or collecting perspective? Perhaps you're interested in owning a piece of history. On the other hand, are you searching for a way to invest for your future? Or has the prospect of inflation and currency depreciation drawn you in? Numismatic coins are generally worth more than their metal content. A bullion's coin's weight is expressed as an even amount such as one ounce or half ounce or even in grams for gold and silver bars. With only a few exceptions, bullion coins are manufactured year to year and are purchased primarily as an investment. There's a market for all sorts of coins. The numbers left of the old coins are mostly known, and, but every now and then a, a rare one pops up somewhere at an auction and hits the news. Bullion coins are also struck in certain known numbers. Many are bought by people who keep them for a while and wait for the right moment when the demand is high. But the right investment is done when you buy coins minted in limited issues. Like for example, some Chinese panda coins. Some of these coins went from $25 to $890 in just four years. When demand is high and availability is low, the price goes up. Having the right information and being in the right place at the right time is important when you want to make money with coins. Now with bullion. The word bullion has a very simple definition. It is a refined and stamped weight of precious metal. Of course, what most of us think of as gold bullion is the large gold brooks, bricks, sorry, bricks that we imagine are stored in Fort Knox. There is a misunderstanding of what gold bullion is. The common perception is that rectangular bits of gold or bars are the most cost effective and perhaps the only available form of gold bullion. The same thing has it that round bits of gold or coins are not really gold bullion. You know, there is this misconception that coins are limited in supply and they are expensive and perhaps to some extent just collectors items. But when you go to buy gold for gold's sake, what you are looking for is a practical and tradable form of gold, gold bullion. Gold bullion is a recognised weight and fineness of the gold that you can purchase for the current price, plus the small percentage costs incurred in refining, fabricating and shipping that bullion to you. These large bars are an efficient way to buy physical gold, particularly if you are going to store your larger gold bullion holdings in a recognised insured precious metals storage facility. Also, if you have a working use for the gold, such as you know, in electronics, or manufacturing or the arts, these large bullion, bullion bars are the, are the most cost effective and efficient way to buy it. But if you don't actually make use of them, these bars can be costly to liquidate once removed from storage. You know, you may encounter assay. An assay is to analyse the quantity of gold in the bullion. Get refining or just handling fees and trying to liquidate that size gold bullion bar. It's much more difficult and time consuming to liquidate gold bullion in a single chunk that is worth over $100,000 than it is to sell the same amount of gold bullion in more convenient and tradable sizes. Now, the purity of gold and silver. When buying precious metals, it is important to understand the gold purity or silver purity of the bars and coins. Why? 
because a small difference in gold or silver purity can have an impact upon the overall value of the gold or silver contained in a coin or a bar, and therefore the price you pay. It is also important to realize that the bullion investment industry expresses gold purity differently to the gold jewelry industry. When buying gold bullion bars and coins, you will usually see the gold purity referred to as a fineness or fineness. This is a shortened version of the term millisimal fineness, a system expressing the purity of precious metals by parts per thousand. For example, a gold fineness of 999 means 999 parts gold and one part are the metal. Millisimal fineness is often used interchangeably with percentage purity. For example, 990 equals 99 percent, 999 equals 99.9 percent, 999.9 equals 99.99 percent. A gold purity of four nines or 99.9 is the most common for gold coins and bars today. Popular bullion coins like the gold maple contain 99.99 pure gold, whereas when buying gold jewellery you will still see gold purity defined in carats. A carat is simply one twenty-fourth part of the whole, so 24 carat gold is pure gold. However, to achieve 24 carat status, gold only needs to be 990 pure. And as we've learned already, this means only 990 parts out of the thousand parts pure. Whereas gold bullion bars and coins are usually 99.9 .9 pure or 999. Hence, why carat is generally not used in expressing purity in gold and silver bullion, as a carat is not a fine enough measure. Fine meta metal is any form of gold with a, a fineness of not less than 99.5%, silver, and with a fineness of not less than 99.9%. That gives you a heads up really on the gold and silver bullion and numismatic coins. For me, you know, I like a mix of both for all of the above reasons. When things do get messy, I know that I can go downtown to a number of businesses and sell a small amount of, of silver and gold bullion to buy the necessities of life. Or when the prices for the coins go sky high, I can reap the rewards from my investment. Now, the company that I associated with is called Mint Builder. You go to the mintbuilder.es and it only sells the purest and highest quality silver. This is marked as 0.99 pure silver. Additionally, they only sell 24 garat pure gold, also known as fine gold. So whether you are a retail customer or they have an affiliate member, you can be assured that you're getting the purest and finest products at the most amazing prices. You know, it's even more amazing if you become an affiliate member. And of course, you know, when you're asked what you're selling, you say, well, I sell gold and silver. <laughs> it's not only very cool, but you can feel proud selling such a great product. To find out more, PM me or see my details down below. Yeah, and visit my website. Or you can go to www.mintbuilder.es to get the full facts, and we can then chat about the best way forward for you. Gold and silver, your gateway to financial freedom. Don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe, share this with your friends and families. You know, we have to hedge our own future. If we don't look after ourselves, no one else is going to do it for us. And then we can help and teach others. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.